the best defense is spending a lot of time on the bench, and that starts with getting off the field um, and not having the sustained drives that they were able to have uh, specifically early in the game um, against them the first time. Hi everybody, welcome to Steelers Live. Happy Friday. I'm Missy Matthews. That was Steelers outside linebacker TJ Watt following practice today, talking about the Week 16 matchup with the Chiefs. But it is a clean slate as they head back to Kansas City for a wild card matchup. The Steelers, however, had a different location for practice today. There you see Ben Roethlisberger and Mike Tomlin. They headed over to Heinz Field. Now, the good news is that everybody was a full participant during practice, including Ben Roethlisberger, Arthur Mallette, Trey Turner, Dan Moore Jr., and also especially Najee Harris, who we know sat out of practice on Wednesday and Thursday. Najee's dealing with an elbow injury from the Ravens game and is listed as questionable for Sunday in Kansas City. All right, well, some honors were handed out across the league today, including the AP NFL's All-Pro teams. And there were two big ones for the Pittsburgh Steelers. Cam Hayward and TJ Watt were named first team all pros. Hayward, who finished the regular season with 10 sacks, has earned all pro honors four times in his career. And Watt, the Steelers team MVP, is a first is first team all pro for the third consecutive year and was one of five unanimous choices this year. Now, going back to the Steelers regular season finale in Baltimore, we saw Watt tie Michael Strahan for the NFL single season sack record of 22 and a half. When they played the Chiefs, however, in week 16, Watt said he didn't play as many snaps as he wanted to and was not as effective as he wanted to be. After 17 games, according to him, no one is at 100%, but he's hoping that the rookies and the rest of his team are ready for some postseason football. I think it's very important that they know that this is not a one-and-done uh, situation. So if you, if you don't win, you go home. Um, so we need to lock it in, uh, almost hit the reset button, and um, put all your feelings aside because nobody cares if you're tired or uh, you want to go home. We, we need to win this game, and uh, that's what we're here to do. And we're willing to take anybody along with me because I am not ready to go home. And speaking of the young guys, Najee Harris was named one of six finalists for the 2021 NFL Rookie of the Year Award. He led all rookies and ranked fourth in the league with 1,667 scrimmage yards and also finished second among rookies with 10 total touchdowns. After practice, he talked about the continuity that he is seeing from everyone that is involved in the Steelers run game. I think it's a better understanding of, of us um, just executing our jobs more. You know what I mean? We're, we're, uh, we're getting a better feel. You know what I mean? We're, we're, we're meeting a lot more. You know, we're, we're, we're seeing, you know, we're creating a bond. We're seeing like all the assignments and what we can do if, if, if we execute it. All right, and some roster moves for the Steelers. Late on Friday, James Pierre is on the reserve COVID-19 list, and the Steelers also made some practice squad transitions. That's going to do it for this edition of Steelers Live. Thanks so much for joining me. Steelers and Chiefs on Sunday, a 8-15 kickoff. We'll see everybody next week. Have a great weekend. What's up, Steers Nation? It's TJ Watt. Welcome to the Pittsburgh Steers official YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on everything going on in the Steel City. Thank you for being the best fans in football. Here we go.